Are we good? I feel like I'm missing something. I think I'm streaming. Am I? Am I streaming? Yes, wait. Am I? Yes, I am. Okay, we're good. I just can't see, like, any numbers or anything, because it just doesn't appear on my thing. <sighs> well, well, well. Okay, cool. We're here. Awesome. Um, you may notice that I am currently in uh, someone else's home. I've broken into uh, someone else's home uh, while I've been gone, been on the run. Uh, is there any way? Activity feed, is that it? Yeah, that's it, okay. I was wondering where this was. Let me go ahead and pop this up. That's activity feed, okay. And then I need a Twitch stats? Yes. Okay. And I'll actually have these. Okay, perfect. Perfect, okay. I was wondering why these were. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so, um... We're currently in a, in a random location, my sister's home. For the past week, a little over a week now, it's Wednesday. But on Saturday, uh, I will be back home in the safety of my bedroom. And, but for now, I'm stuck here, uh, which is not, I don't really have much uh, to do while I'm here. Uh, so I guess I'll just kind of wrap up what I, how everything's been going, what I've been playing, what I've been doing since then. Uh, just kind of just saying random shit, right? So I guess also I have Diablo Tristram playing. So, uh, yeah, so what's been going on? So I've been, I've been tasked to watch the dog. And I get paid for it, so I got I got paid to watch this this dog, which means that I could probably uh, upgrade the stream with some equipment. Probably get a ring light, perhaps. Uh, I might try maybe looking into getting a mixer for volume and stuff like that, and maybe a new microphone. I I need to do a lot of research to even figure out how to even use that stuff because I I don't even know how to use it. But um, yeah. Also, get this thing. I should probably be playing with this while I'm here, uh, just to keep my hands busy. Uh, so, I guess the f yeah, when I first came here, I had a little bit of issues uh, issues sleeping, but um, it's not been too bad. Uh, I've gotten a little bit better with like I I've been having to go to bed a lot earlier, so like I went to bed at like. Like, uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at, at the latest. Uh, I, be, I, I definitely fixed my schedule to go to bed at 10, which, uh, yeah, took a, like, I don't think it took that long to do, though. It, it just took, like, a couple days of just getting woken up early, and I've been able, I've been also practicing, uh, getting, like, naps, like, napping and stuff like that. Oh, shoot, I forgot to tweet this out. Oops, hold on. Let me tweet this out. Twitter. Let's see here. Come on. Why did messages open up? Alright, this should be it. Yep, perfect. And send. There we go. Cool. Okay. All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I got here, and I didn't really bring much. I forgot to bring a webcam or microphone of some sort. In this in this house, they have no webcams, no microphones. Uh, they only have laptops. Uh, they have a shitty piece of shit. Let me show you it. Piece of shit uh, green chair with no, like, head support or neck support. 
their claim is that it, it fits aesthetically to the to the house. I don't know what fucking aesthetic they're going for, because you go inside their the family or family the, like you know the master bedroom. You go inside the master bedroom, and the the uh, the bathroom is modern looking and looks nothing like the rest of the house. Uh, the basement, they just recently did the, the flooring, and I'm thinking, why is the floor, like, modern looking? Aren't you trying to go for a rustic, like, look? I don't know what the fuck aesthetic they're going for. So, I, I really gotta ask, uh, give them a couple pointers on actually, um, getting this, this aesthetic right i mean like you can make compromises you can make a nicer fucking couch you don't have to use a shitty fucking stupid ass couch considering you're living here for however many years i don't think you should really be worrying about what furniture you have in here at the moment uh, i think you should be focusing on getting the actual design of the house correct you don't have to worry about decorations yet it's not like you're selling the house with the fucking decorations anyways it's like it's like he, he, what are you, what are you trying to do? All right, I know they're they're planning on trying to sell the house, but like what the fuck? Like I know it's like their first house, but come on, come on. I I don't even have a t interior design degree or whatever, and I I can probably design a better looking house if we're gonna go for decorations and aesthetics, honestly. Um. Because you got to go, like, the problem is, first of all, you have to go with an aesthetic that fits the house exterior. The exterior of the house, what the house originally looked like, I guess. Um, you have to go with the look of the house and really work with how it looks, rather than what you want it to look like. Uh, if you're going to do that, then you might as well just build the house from the ground up. Because at that point, you're you're not going to get what you want to look for, or like what you're trying to get. Like, you can't just go with whatever aesthetic you please when it comes to a house. But, uh, anyways, I don't know. I just, I just think it's kind of dumb. It's like, oh look, I'm going to put, I'm going to make the kitchen look modern. I'm just thinking, what, it doesn't fit the rest of the fucking house. Like, you're gonna have, like, a, a modern-ass, like, kitchen with, like, marble, mar uh, marble, uh, like, top, right, uh, uh tabletop, uh, and you have, like, this li the fancy-ass, uh, refrigerator, uh, a fancy electric stove, right, uh, an, an island and everything, and I'm thinking, that doesn't really fit the rustic style that you're going for but people are fucking stupid honestly that you could you could shit on like a piece of paper and be like this is art right so like i i it's like it's like it, it doesn't even matter honestly like the the design that people are just gonna fucking eat it up because they're a bunch of fucking leeches they think that oh look a piece of shit tin can with a bunch of fake wheat is is aesthetically pleasing man that's so aesthetically pleasing bro it's it's like what the hell is going on here this it's like it's like the mad hatter made this house except the mad hatter would probably do even better i i don't know i'm just being mad i'm just being uh critical I'm being a, a critic because I, you gotta have be harsh with your criticism sometimes. So yeah. A anyways, enough <laughs> complaining about house design. That little uh, camera there. You see that black thing right there? Uh, watch to see if it moves because some they'll usually use it one time a day, sometimes two times a day to see where the dog is. And last they used it, they pointed it, pointed it straight towards me. And they were just looking at me you, being on the computer. It was really creepy. But they haven't been doing it much. So, uh, yeah. Um, what, oh, the dog wants in. Let's say hi to this little shithead. Well, you want to 
want a treat? You want a treat? Sure. I'll give you a treat. No, you are not allowed to come. You want to come? No, you are not allowed to come until I say so. Okay. There's the fucking dog. Oh. There he is. I don't know why people have huskies. Like, the, they, they like, you people get like these dogs that were designed to go out in the Arctic snow uh, and survive harsh, cold weathers. Uh, and you have them out here in the summertime walking them. Uh, like it's just a normal fucking thing for this dog to just walk around in a hot, hot heat. 80 degree weather. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a dog expert, but I would assume that a dog that was designed for that purpose would want to be in its own environment. But, I mean, hey. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've been taking care of him. He's been okay. There's this thing that he does where he eats grass. I, apparently, a lot of dogs do it, but he'll eat, like, grass. And then he, uh, and then he'll eat too much of it, and then he throws up. Uh, he's done that twice in the time that I've been here. So, not, not too bad, but I was just like, I mentioned this to them, and they're just like, Yeah, he does that. He does do that. Uh, I got this. I got a new phone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's the flip one, so you can flip it. And I realize, um, the inequality the inequality the the fault it's a faulty phone so it has that that slit there that could potentially crack which means that there's just going to be a huge line on the screen at some point so i was thinking the only time i probably want to actually fold it is probably when i'm putting it in my pocket and i'm on the go that's probably the only time i want to fold it and when i want to charge it because the charging part is at the bottom part here from what I was told. So that's the only time I really want to fold it. Uh, and I do need to get a case for it. I'm going to get a case as soon as possible. Whenever I trade in my old phone. I'll probably do it on that day. We'll probably go somewhere and get a get a new. Um, an actual case that may I might like. If I can't find any. I'll probably just get one just right then and there. And then get an actual one that would actually be good. Um and just deal with it. It's like thickness. Oh, he's eating. He's actually eating. Nice. But yeah, just it's all right. It's it's de it's still an upgrade. Like on everything on the phone is it's an upgrade. I can do actual selfie cameras now, which I couldn't do before. Uh which was nice. Um Oh, uh when I came here, uh, I was actually, they have like Netflix, they have all that shit, right? They have everything really, like all the subscription services to watch, whatever. It's just that it, it's like I've seen everything I've wanted to see and I don't feel like watching it again, right? So I was actually, there, there was a Better Call Saul, which I didn't realize the n newest season came out the day before my birthday this year, uh, but that's kind of cool. Uh, so I caught myself up. I last stopped at season four because that's what the season the season five came out I think around that time or it came out after it and then I just kind of didn't feel like uh, watching that um, But I finally got around to actually watching it. I watched season five. That was really good uh, Season five was was exciting. Also, by the way while I was here uh, I'll continue that in a minute. It's just ADHD rattled brain um, I am not, I haven't shaved. I didn't bring my, sh um, razor, whatever you call it. Uh, cause I just kind of wanted to see how, what it looks like by the end of this, just to kind of look like I've been disheveled and I've been stuck in this house, uh, by myself with this dog. I have uh, seen my mom though. She has come by. Um, Anyways, back to the Better Call Saul. Season 6. Uh, uh, caught up to Season 6, Episode 7. Woo! Episode 7 was... Was... Uh, wow. Wow. 
yeah that, that was that was a, a really good just amazing episode to end off on like f until we come back uh in july i think wow uh, wow just oh boy I, it's it's immediately uh, uh, worth watching the entire series up to that point now uh the build-up like i'm just looking back at it i'm just thinking wow the build-up to season six is just perfect you, you, it's so slow but it's so fucking worth it it is so worth it because you get so much time to be with these characters and to learn more about the characters and everything they have to like all their beliefs and like what they their aspirations are and the way like it's obvious what the show implies right that anything can be corrupted like the the law system can be corrupted people can be corrupted it, it easily corrupted uh, all it takes is one bad day etc right so i think it's 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 an amazing character study on on all these different kinds of characters that we see in the show and it's just i cannot i really really want the ending to just hit it right out of the ballpark i want it to be a home run times five uh because it's it's amazing i'm i love dialogue based stuff as as well like i not like soap opera but you know just like like uh the boys i just recently started watching that when i came here since i had nothing else better to do so i just i just binge watched the entire boys season one two and three up to season episode three i haven't seen episode four but that is out i will probably watch it before i leave i'll make sure to watch it because i don't know i just i just i don't know i'll, I'll actually jump on it and watch it through but yeah the, the boys is a amazing wow what i was like i was concerned because i've seen of invincible and i've seen all these other shows and i'm just like i'm thinking like am i really do i really want to watch another superhero film and it turns out it's it's the opposite it's something that hasn't been done yet or at least i haven't seen and they get this huge production value it's just like the gore is so well done the cgi whatever the animations the characters the vo the acting not voice acting but the acting just everything about the boys was is really good uh and i was i was definitely like i went in with lower expectations i forced myself to actually start watching it um and i was kind of confused at first i'm like who's the main people here because we uh, like who's who are the main protagonists of the show because we it doesn't start with the main characters you you see these two kids um come out this is not necessarily spoilers uh you see these two kids come out and you're thinking are these like the main characters or do they have superpowers what are these these were the thoughts i had when i started and then they get saved by these superheroes and i'm thinking okay so they're showing off these superheroes that are clearly you know parodies of other superheroes that we are that we know superman wonder woman right so at what point does it do we get what's different about the show and then we cut to a new character and this guy is just the one of the main characters huey uh campbell huey and that's actually the main character i don't i didn't realize that for a bit but <laughs> uh they they yeah so it took a couple but eventually i was like okay so i guess these characters are the boys i didn't necessarily know if i would grow to like them or not because i i was just like okay so we're, we're being introduced to these characters um so who are they and what are they and will i even like them and you you do you do actually grow to like these characters as you watch the episodes and go through you really get to learn these characters over the series and it's great because you you get to learn like the just everything about them like it's just so it's really grounded surprisingly considering it's about superheroes it's actually a really grounded realistic superhero tv show film whatever you want to call it the way that they portray these superheroes and these characters are really well done and the 
acting is great as well. They're amazing. Like the guy who plays as, uh, who plays as uh, uh, Homelander, is amazing. What a what a great character that you love, just for the fact that they're just a piece of shit. They're an asshole, but it's great. It's it's amazing. Um, all the characters are just really, really just, it's just so cool to see how, uh, like, it's just, just like how Bojack Horseman does a really good realistic take on what it's, like, modern celebrities, right? Like, what, what celebrity life is like, and how awful it can be, and how dark it can be, and how fucked up it can be, and just how everything can be manipulated by the media, and just... All these things. I, I I don't know. I give Bojack Horseman's higher praise just because it's just a really good show. Just because of how dark it gets, it's just it's great. And the boys kind of scratches that itch, too. The just that really dark humor, dark um, atmosphere, just everything about it. Just the, the, the dark story. It's 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 great. So I give. I think I I give. I definitely give. Once, once uh, Better Call Saul comes, like, com completely comes to a close, I think I'll have a better idea on how I'd want to rate it. But I feel like Better Call Saul... Do I say it's better than Breaking Bad? Um, in some aspects, I guess it, it definitely is, considering how it's come out later. So the crew has had a lot more experience with creating with filmmaking and everything right and directing and all that stuff so with experience it, it is better in, in certain light i think it's definitely i i enjoy the journey that you have with better call saul than i do with breaking bad i do think breaking bad's an amazing show I think it's 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 really great. There's a lot of stakes, just everything. I think um, Better Call Saul, considering how you watch this character go from literally just nothing to going to where they are at the around the start, or like I think it's around the start or the midway point of uh, Breaking Bad is some you know where we are by then. I really want to see what happens with. Um, I forget what they call him in the future because we actually you actually get seen spoiler alert but you actually do get a lot of a little bit of a story going on in future tense after the effects uh, after the events of breaking bad uh you get to see saul goodman or jimmy mcgill in that light and you kind of see some stuff there i want to see what goes on with that they left it off in like kind of like a cliffhanger and I don't know what they're going to do with it or what's, what's going on with that. But hopefully by the end of this season of Better Call Saul, which I think there's there's episode 7. I think there's 17 episodes or something. I forget how many episodes there are for how many. Let me check here. Let me do a check here. How many episodes in season six? Uh, there's going to be 13 episodes. So we're going to get... So we're going to get six more episodes. Hopefully at least one of them will go through whatever is going to go on with that. Or if they're just going to leave it up to in the air to what happens. Maybe for another spinoff series. Because I think... The, the the director wants to actually do more with the Breaking Bad's universe, which I I don't I'm not gonna complain. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what other character they can do because they've already done Jesse. They've already done his like, pa like future. I don't know if they like want to do like something with him, with Aaron Paul for like his path, like the jesse's like past but like before he became to where he was in breaking bad is that gonna be a thing or what's what's gonna happen there i i don't know um i don't know if there's any other characters they could do 
because we get a lot of stuff with Hank, which is another main character that's important. I, I don't know what they do with it. Maybe they just do a completely new character in a different like area of the universe or something. I don't know what they'd actually do with it because they tackle crime life, right? They tackle the law, the, the literal law, uh, and how that can also be corrupted. Um, so I don't know where they'd even go with the series, like this, the universe from there. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, but I hope something good comes out of it. But yeah, the boys. Uh, so I give Better Call Saul. Um, I'd, I think I might give it a 10 out of 10. I think I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Just like uh, Breaking Bad, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. Both of those perfect shows. Perfect, amazing shows. Uh, the Boys, I'd give that a... There is some weird inconsistencies with it that they don't exactly explain sometimes. Yeah, what? I'm talking. It's what? I'd give the boys a uh, nine, nine out of ten. It's really good, but there are some weird, specific things that kind of go un unexplained sometimes. Like, there's like this whole idea that they kind of go with for a little bit with like burning phones, burner phones. But the main character Huey never does shit with his phone. Like he'll he'll call a character or something, right? Uh, and then, like, he doesn't even, like, destroy the phone afterwards or anything. So it's just, <laughs> they never explain that and nothing comes out of it. So I don't know if he just does it off camera or what. It doesn't, doesn't explain it. It's weird. So I don't know. There's, like, those kinds of, like, weird inconsistencies. Uh, but those are kind of, like, weird minor uh, nitpicks. Uh, I think, like, some some forced dialogue. I think the love triangle in Season 3. I fucking hate love triangles. I, th I hate it whenever shows like Total Drama Island did this as well. Where they take a really likable character that's actually, like, likable. And then they, they get a love interest and they're, they're really cool. And then suddenly there's a new love interest character that the that is nice to the love interest of the guy character or whatever. And then the guy is just like, oh, I don't like that. And he gets jealous, completely ruining the character's likability. And I think it's really obnoxious whenever it, it's overly done, first of all. I hate it that you see it in almost all like tv shows eventually right that handle love they're just like oh yeah here's a character watch this big character gets jealous and then it gets really obnoxious i hate it why you know that it there's a there's a universe where it exists where their girlfriend isn't immediately gonna fucking cheat on you because there's a different character in their life that may be more interesting or something i i it's just it's so bullshit you don't have to stand your ground sometimes right and it's most of the time that guy is not even probably hopefully not even interested in said person right i would assume so and if the girl cheats on a guy right or a guy cheats on a girl then they fucking get what they deserve they deserve to be hated on so it's just like don't assume shit i don't even like i would assume that most guys wouldn't assume that right but i don't know it's ape brain ape monkey brain uh not understanding the concept of uh i don't know just trying to be the bigger man i don't know what it is uh, or a woman. Bruh. But yeah, I, um, that's pretty much the two things I watched. I, I've been kind of watching the, uh, the Diablo Immortal debacle going on. Just kind of been watching how messed up that's been. Uh, yeah, that that sucks though. I think um, I think that that's that's probably the like Blizzard has no shame at all. They're they're so just like <sighs> the team. It's just like it's just like 
why do you do this right why do you do this to your games you don't need to you could easily make more money by just making a good game you don't need to like leech off of your people right you don't need to do that um and i think that's what people expect from games but there's tons of people i'll see this all the time like this is this is the harsh reality that we live in there's tons of people that will just do it anyway like they'll just buy into it because they they don't care and it, it sucks because they're they're using you as the person they are using you and we're just we we've just been conditioned to be okay with this and it sucks because there's just so many games where it's just like I play it and I'm just like, dude, do you realize what that they're playing you? And they're just like, yeah, I don't care. It's like somebody with like a, a cigarette addiction, right? Or like an alcohol addiction. You're like, hey, you know that this is killing you, right? And they're just like, yeah. <laughs> and then they keep doing it. It's like you, you, they're playing you. It's You're being manipulated and it, it sucks because these players are allowing these developers to keep... Well, not developers, but companies... To keep doing it and forcing their developer uh, developers to keep like adding it into the the game and then causing more people to like direct hate towards them and it it's just <sighs> he's balls to the wall um yeah it's just i really 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 I'm, I'm praying that Blizzard takes all this information, takes all this information, and then uses that, like, year break that I think they, they delayed the game for. They take this time to fucking remove... I know that, like, 90% of the time these games, these devs or whatever, are gonna design their game around a mechanic. Like, this money-making mechanic, right? They can't just make... They can't just make their games anymore uh, like they used to because they they design it around this monetization after you pay for said game. That's why a lot of these companies, they add the free-to-play market onto it so they can charge more money. So it's, it's a shit ton of money. You make a fuck ton of money from stupid idiots who are willing to pay for it. And, the, and it doesn't even help either that you see these streamers and YouTubers who are trying to show off how scummy this is. In the process, they are paying them. They are allowing this mechanic to be a thing because you want to show it off. Asmongold fucking does it. He's sitting there spending a bunch of money on the game trying to show off that it, it, this is stupid. But you're giving them money. So you're continuing to allow this habit. Anyways, just to prove a point, but you're not going to prove a point if you're giving them the money. Money shows everything, right? Money shows everything. And and it's just like even pirating, even pirating a game shows a company that they should continue th these kinds of practices. Uh, and it's just... If you're going to... if Like these people who are in the process of trying to prove how bad it is are also giving them the money so not only are they getting paid by their specific system but you're only just enabling it more because they're not gonna sit there and watch your videos they're they're just gonna be like yeah okay sure but we made a fuck we made six million dollars on our game in the first week because all these fucking idiots are just wanting to prove something all these youtubers who want to put in like a cool thumbnail and make a like like be like i spent one hundred thousand dollars in this game see what i get right oh my god it's just like you're, you're enabling it everybody's enabling it everybody's just gonna it's just like it's fucked like we we've already fucked ourselves they're gonna have this in diablo 4 because it's been proven to make money if it made no money at all which is literally impossible if it made no money at all then they would have just put ads in the game to get people to play on it like oh watch an ad to get this uh if you don't want to add and then people are going to complain about the ads so it's like oh so you're going to complain about the ads pay us uh 99 
and pay us a dollar a month and you get no ads, right? Just some, something like that, right? So it's I, no matter what we add, if the game's free to play, there's going to be a way to monetize it no matter what. And so if you buy a game, they're going to monetize it. If you play the game for free, they're going to monetize it. Uh, if you don't get the game, you don't get the game anymore. And uh, also, on top of that, it's a live service. So uh, once the game's servers shut down, you won't be able to play it uh, anymore. Uh, so that means that your hundreds of dollars that you spent on this free-to-play game are now futile because the game relies on players. Uh in the game unless they update it to make it so it's completely single player at that point uh but they don't have that in mind anymore because for some reason um i don't know i i don't know why the gameplay i don't know how changed the gameplay gets because i've only just now started diablo 2 i haven't even gotten to play diablo like through diablo 2 yet but the gameplay from Diablo 1 to Diablo 2 has been such a significant change in some aspects. I think the um, gameplay is a lot smoother with like the movement and everything. The movement doesn't feel clunky anymore in Diablo 2 compared to Diablo 1, which I, I, I like a lot. Because that means that the character isn't on a weird grid-based system that is like very clunky and awkward to move your character around. So it, it So like you click and hold an area... And your character has like a delayed movement towards it. Meanwhile, in if you play Diablo 2, you click and your character's immediately going in that direction. Instead of like, you, you get what I'm trying to say. Where it feels a lot, like you click and hold and it feels a lot smoother. Like you're actually controlling the character a lot better. I don't know how else to describe it, but you, you could get exactly what I mean. Because whenever you click and hold, it still feels like you just clicked in an area and your character's walking towards it in the grid. Meanwhile, in Diablo 2, you click in an area and your character goes straight towards it. It's no longer that much of a grid-based system anymore. Uh, which is a complete difference, right? Uh, and also the graphics are definitely different. Like the... Um, how they handle how they handle like the environment it, with like this weird 2d 3d aspect ratio thing where it looks kind of like angled and, but i don't know how to describe it it's really weird oh i forgot to shut that door i don't want him going in there pissing on the bed I don't know. <clears throat> but, yeah. It's really interesting. I don't know how different Diablo 2 is from Diablo 3. Um, I hope it's not going to be as significant. I, I don't even know. Because, like, Diablo 1, you, are, you have a hometown. You go into a dungeon and you explore the dungeon. Once you run out of space in your inventory, the gameplay loop is you take a teleporter back, or you go back up the stairs, or checkpoint, or whatever. And you sell your loot, get better loot, drop off whatever else you don't need uh, in the town, go back into the dungeon, and continue. And in Diablo 2, you run around a big map from what I've seen so far, killing monsters, and you have these quests, which uh, Diablo 1 has quests as well. It's random, by the way. The quests in Diablo 1 are random, so you get a, random ones every game. Um, in Diablo 2, you run in, oh look, here's a cave I want you to go into to kill some monsters. Okay, you go in there, and you... I guess it's a random, randomized cave with how it's the, like the system works and everything you go and kill the monsters leave and then uh there's a cemetery that you have to go to and i can only assume that the cemetery is going to have a little bit of that diablo one aesthetic i'm not entirely sure 
how different it is yet, but that's definitely a huge difference. Another thing from Diablo 2 and Diablo 1, you can no longer have drop loot on the ground in single player mode and it stays there unless maybe there's a mod for it. So that means that if I drop loot on the ground and money and everything, that's eventually going to disappear and I'm going to lose it. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, and I, when I was looking this up, this information up, someone in an old um like article or whatever uh whatever you call those um they mentioned uh, a form an old form post they mentioned a thing called atma it's a muling uh software muling i was trying to figure out what the fuck that meant it literally is just means it carries out it holds items for you so what you have to use instead of using that shitty limited storage personal space which is the only way for you to even keep items uh and stuff like that you use this atma application to put your items in there you have to completely close the game i think i i don't think it's the character i think you have to completely close the entire game just to be sure um you then you open up this application and then you drag and drop items into this muling software that will then hold all of your items that you want to keep there and then whenever you need it or ready to take it out you put it back into the um you put it back into your character and then you relaunch the game and you have it immediately in your inventory omg dalton high high legacy uh what's up i'm just talking about stuff uh and yeah it, it's it's the only way for you to really as far as i can tell in the original diablo 2 uh it's the only way for you to actually have an, a proper storage for items i tried to use the bank system that is on there and whenever i click on it nothing happens and apparently the idea of the bank is that you can hold your money and you, you because i think you have a max amount of money you can have on a character and once you have that max amount then you you can't get any more money or something i forget how it works so um yeah it, it's 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 definitely a program that helps a lot uh and i can only imagine a lot of people consider it a, a, an actual helpful program it is old, like the, the UI is very old and it's like early 2000s kind of like old. Uh, so I like it in that aesthetic, that early 2000s like shitty 3D model aesthetic, right? But um, it's pretty epic. Uh, I, I do want to keep playing through the game. And once I beat the game, I might actually play it on stream. I might get the expansion and then I'll play it on stream with the expansion. And we'll just go from there. Because uh, I don't know what they add or change in the expansion or not. But um, I definitely wouldn't be able to use the muling program. Because I think I would assume that a lot of people would find closing the application and reopening it kind of frustrating to watch. So I wouldn't want to do that. So I'd have to figure something out for that. But I guess it wouldn't be... I think you get a larger storage space in Diablo 2 with the expansion. Uh, so... I don't know. It, it's it's definitely just a little. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'm fine. I'm ready to go home. Since you were asking. <clears throat> but yeah. So once I get back, we'll go back to our regularly scheduled program. Uh, I think I might change. Depending on how not lazy I am. I might change the schedule to add it an extra stream day uh, just because uh, I feel like two is nice and all. Maybe three would be a little bit better, just uh, more streams per week, but I'd have to really think about it. Um, <clears throat> in other news, the one video that I did, like the one stream I did, which I still need to edit the VOD for uh, video, is the coin game stream. For some reason, just hit a random spike of new viewers on it, which is kind of cool. 
I, I don't know what happened. Uh, I just kind of suddenly now has 39 views and it just kind of picked up out of nowhere. It, it went from like, it was like a no views to like, suddenly there's 17 views on here. Now it's just kind of building up. I don't know what happened. So now that video, I, I, I guess, is getting recommended to people. And maybe that was because, if I'm thinking about it, there was recently a video on Germa, Germa's channel. I, I don't, this is just a weird, just correlation i don't even know if this is true but recently someone on the second Ger germa 2 channel uploaded a video of him playing the coin game from like a while back so i don't know what took them so long to make an edited video of that uh but yeah the um <clears throat> that that video may be getting recommended to people who watch that video um I, that's just a weird guess of mine. I don't know what other reason. And another thing is like the day after, I think, um, Brutal Moose, if you've seen that channel, he also played the coin game like the day after I streamed it, I think. I'm pretty sure it was the day after or definitely after that stream. So I guess it was just a weird time for content to be uploaded about the coin game which is weird so maybe that's why it suddenly got like a random small spike of, of viewers because a lot of my videos on the vod channel usually don't get any views it's it's like very vague and in between i think towards like the start of the channel there was more viewers because i was playing more relevant games i think although that's not even necessarily true um the system shock stream that i did uh there was one video on the system shock streams of that entire playthrough that just had a random spike of viewer of like views uh let me pull it up here actually <clears throat> this might take it's it's gonna be slow because i'm streaming and this this old piece of shit can barely stream uh do 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 Man, Osmond Gold fucking milks. <laughs> milks content. It's it's like, oh, Diablo Immortal 2 is like have, going through the shitter. I'm just going to fucking do weeks of content on this. Because, I mean, I understand. He, he's pissed off because his favorite series is uh has been abused. Oh, this is the wrong channel. Oops, hold on. Wrong channel. on it's like an old xp uh when i used to go to my dad's there was an old uh windows xp and um i had to watch youtube on it that thing was so fucking slow this feels ex almost exactly like it so my most viewed video at the moment is i'm dragging it over to the screen my most viewed stream at the moment is my sims 4 modded stream which is basically just a rip off of uh german's modded stream essentially uh except it didn't i didn't necessarily try to do that it was an inspiration for the stream the um what what it was was um i just wanted to go through there and try to find really weird mods and i ended up like the mods modding for sims 4 is really really boring because the people who make the mods on there are just oh here's a new outfits Here's new building pieces. It's really, really, really girly. I guess that's the best way to describe it, and boring. Um, flamboyant? I guess that would be a better term. I don't know. And yeah, the coin game is my my fifth most viewed stream on the, on the VOD channel. And I'm just thinking, why is that? Why did it suddenly get a spike of views? Maybe it was the thumbnail of my face. Maybe maybe people like how I look, and they were just like, "Oh, look at this cute fin boy." Let me look at what they're doing. And then yeah, my uh, part one episode of Shinmu One has sixty three views, and my Shinmu Two part one has thirty five views. And here's the weird thing. Actually, wait, hold on. This is viewed by most popular. Why is System Shock, which has, wait, hold on. No, the coin game should have 
with this logic, it says 39 views. With this logic, it should be the third most viewed video on the channel. Instead, because uh, S S Shinmu 2 has 35 views, System Shock 2 Part 5, Take I take Siri on a date, 32 views. I don't know why specifically Part 5 got a spike in views, um, but it did, uh, which is weird. Really weird. So, I don't know what happened. I, I kind of want to switch to the channel real quick and see if I can figure this out. Switch videos to the Clowny Tune full streams archive. Let's see here. <clears throat> and then, uh, customize channel, manage videos. Here we go. There's the other video that has... But yeah, most of my videos don't really get views on the VOD channel. So I just kind of, I'm kind of inconsistent with uploading, so maybe that's why. Yeah, it says here, 39 views on the video. So it, it's definitely, um, yeah, views. Let's see here. Filter by views. More than or equal to? No, no, no. Um, yeah. Just, uh, it's, it's, um... Let's see here. Yeah, so 93. Yeah, so for some reason, maybe they just haven't counted yet for the viewers. Maybe it, ha it hasn't been processed yet because it's just a random spike. So that's why it's not even on here for most viewed uh, in the actual manager. Of course, my least viewed is apparently Fallout New Vegas Part 12. Uh, I can't change it, so I'm just gonna do date. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I could look at the analytics to see what's going on. 38 more than usual, yeah. Yeah, it's just got a random spike of views. I don't know what happened. And then the watch time is pretty decent, too. Uh, 45.5, and that's in hours? And the average view duration will go from 96% is zero, and then about four minutes in, it's 65%. And then the lowest it'll get is 19% all the way to the very end of the video. Engagement. How is this getting reached? That's the, another question. Average view duration about an hour and 10 minutes. Average percentage view, 31%. Audience? What's my audience? 25 unique viewers. I guess the rest are not? I, I don't... And 98% of them are not even subscribed, which is true. I only have 10%. I should just do that for all the videos. Um, I should do that for all the videos. Just be like, hey, by the way, this has 91 billion percent of my uh, viewers. Don't watch this video. Impressions. 791 impressions. And the impression click click through rate is zero point six percent, probably because it has a lower uh, low uh, view rate. Traffic sources sources yeah suggested videos, views from suggested some suggestions suggestions appearing alongside after other videos. So maybe my theory is right. I said that before I even looked at this. I haven't even seen this yet. So maybe I'm right. Maybe it's just because there was some higher viewer channels talking about the coin game out of nowhere. Uh, and it just happened to... Proportion of... So propor why this... Uh, so proportion of your vi uh, total traffic... 100% or sorry 96% are from a video called why is this arcade game open world the coin game 
So 96% of people are getting videos from that? Let me actually look it up because it doesn't let you actually watch it or like watch the video. Why is this arcade game open world? Let's see here. Why is this arcade game open world? The coin game. Let's see here. It's from Game Grubs. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is game... Here we go. What the fuck? Game Grubs? Why do they suddenly start doing a video on this? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I, I didn't even know fucking Game Grumps did this shit. So they made a video a little bit after my stream uploaded, which was before I did the thing. Hold on. Wait, and it doesn't even tell me the date on when the video was uploaded, which is weird. Why does it not tell you? Maybe my, my monitor isn't big enough, so let me move it to this monitor and see if it'll say. Yeah, there we go. June 9th of 2022. When did we... Uh, this was uploaded. So yeah, 96% of the viewers that I'm getting from this is from a King Grumps video. Okay, so that's where they're coming from. That's weird. <laughs> okay, and this was uploaded on June 4th. So it was uploaded before that, and I'm pretty sure on the we're, we're doing some some uh, we're doing some some investigations here. Uh, so I I'm guessing the let me go ahead and remove these. So it was a Game Grumps video, and I don't even think the video the VOD is even on the channel anymore because it I don't have Prime, so like the VODs get deleted pretty fast now. Uh, let me check here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see if it's even still here. Is it still here? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Um, so that was on... So if the stream that I did before was on... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. We can, we can, we can investigate this even better. We can do, we can do an actual... Uh, like theory investigation on when the stream even was the sh the actual stream itself, which doesn't matter. Um, I just think I just I'm I'm just a, I'm just a theorizer, I guess. Okay. Uh, this was June fifth, so we I definitely because that was on a Sunday because we know that, so I definitely did that way before fucking. They did it. Why the fuck did they... Hey, what's up, Agent? Uh, gamer bitch. Um, so, why the fuck... Why the fuck did everybody suddenly start playing the, the coin game, even though the game hasn't even had an update in a long time? That's such a... I don't know if, like, I'm just, like, a, 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 a pro prophetic... I, I don't know what the term is. But it, it definitely is kind of strange. In that, that, is, that is kind of interesting. The, the viewers that are I'm getting, the sudden spike of viewers from for that stream is from is from a Game Grumps video. It's been recommended to Game Grumps viewers. Why? Is it I don't know. I guess I mean it was definitely uploaded before Game Grumps, but Weird. Weird. Fuck you, Legacy. Um yeah, that was just that was just a weird thing that happened. <laughs> Definitely interesting. I I think um that was good for the channel, at least well at least for viewership wise and maybe definitely not follower wise, but definitely for exposure that was definitely good for the channel. Um, just me doing that at the perfect time, uh, right before anyone else does it. And then it gets recommended to other people who did it literally right after me. So that, that was good. That was really good. Good good for me. Uh, I don't know how many views it's going to get up to that point now. Um, 
after that because it will die. It will die down um, over time here. But maybe that'll get people to come on through. I don't know. I It, it definitely happened at a bad time. Uh, considering I haven't been streaming because I couldn't for a while. And I don't really have the equipment to really do so. That's why you have like a really shitty microphone. I could scream into this microphone and it would peak. Because uh, I'm using the funny mic. Um... But yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I don't even know if I could stream any games or do anything. So I'm just kind of here. So if you guys have any, like, questions... Uh, quest questions, comments, or concerns? Uh, please let me know. Every every teacher, before you leave, they're just like, Hey, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's like, it's like <laughs> that, that weird awkward silence where nobody has questions because they want to leave. Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of like that. Oh, oh uh, if you guys can, can you tell me if you hear the music in the background? I'm playing Diablo. But yeah, that was another thing that was weird. Uh, me starting playing Diablo out of nowhere. It wasn't even inspired by any new releases coming out. It was just, um, I, I just happened to want to play some Diablo and, like, actually get into the series at the exact time. Husky? Oh, you like that little uwo, uwo, awu? No, it's my sister's. I'm watching that dog for, like, uh, I've been watching him for over a week. And I, I go home on Saturday. This isn't my house. This is my sister's house. And I was bitching about it. I mean, if you want if you want to hear me talk, I'm not going to talk about it again. But if you want to hear me talk about that stuff, you can always watch the VOD after the stream ends here. Where you can hear me talk about Better Call Saul and me uh, reviewing it. And uh, talking about the boys because I hadn't seen that series yet up until this point. And now I'm actually caught up on the series. I binged it. Uh, binge watched the series. I had some, um... Oh, you know what? Let's go grab a beer. Let's grab a beer. Oh, I almost dropped this. Oh my god. If I dropped this on the ground, I would have shat myself. <sighs> Boys, two binged it for two weeks. Wow, that's a coincidence. I want to talk about... Also just caught up on... That's fucking sick, dude. Yeah, dude. Season 6, episode 7. No spoilers, please. Holy fuck. What an amazing fucking episode 7. Holy shit. I think um, it's better than the season 3 finale, in my opinion. Season 3 finale is um, was like blew my mind. I was like... After, after I finished that episode, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, season 3 finale great um also yeah um mckellab's uh ultralight this thing what is it just me or why does everybody have this in their house this is like the one beer i i mentioned this um when i was to my sister i'm like everybody fucking has this my friend's parents they just have this sitting in their in their fridge why does everyone have mckellab's ultralight i mean it's fine I, it tastes pretty decent i'm more of um I like a uh, Corona Extra more, honestly. I do think that, I mean, they're both a light lager, so I guess it, I, uh, that's why I kind of like this one. It's kind of grown on me, considering how often, like, it's the only beer in the house in, like, places I've gone to. So I'm just like, ah, fuck it, fine, I'll drink it. And then I, I have it, and it's just like, it's kind of grown on me. Have you watched Kenobi yet? No, I was I was kind of like on the fence about it. I should watch it. I was on the fence though if I should even watch it or not. Um considering how dog shit Morbius was. I haven't even seen Morbius. And how awful um the uh Boba Fett series was. Oh my god. Boba Fett, what a what a disappointment. Boca Boba Fett. 
What a disappointment. I think the best parts of the f book of Boba Fett was the Mandalorian himself. It was about the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda and shit like that, right? That was the most interesting part of Boba Fett series. It, it was. It wasn't even about Boba Fett. That was the best part. Um, and F uh, Fennec was. Is that her name? Fennec. Fennec. Uh, she was really cool. She was. She was the best character uh, in that show. Yeah, he's supposed to be the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. Pretty much, um, go watch Angry Joe Show's, uh, reviews, uh, review of the entire series each episode. I love watching their review after I watch the episode because I get, I get confirmation, uh, about my thoughts on the series. And I completely agree with everything he says. Because pretty much they, 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 what they say is pretty much what I'm going to feel about the show. Uh, I hope they go into... I don't think they will because it's a TV series. But uh, I hope they do eventually go over... Um, they've been going over the boys. So once the boys finish, I'll, um, I'll catch up on the series and watch the, uh, the their review on it. <clears throat> but yeah, no, dude. I completely agree. They fucked up Boba Fett. He was like a... I loved Bo, like the bounty hunters as a kid. Like, I, I loved Boba Fett and Jango Fett. So... It was kind of dumb that they completely ruined the character for me. <laughs> I did love the man. The Mandalorian is amazing. Three and four of the Mandalorian. That's good. He, he's such a great character. I thought they were done with him, but no, that's a good thing. They're not done with it. Um, what I thought it was, was um, what I thought they were going to do was they were done talking about the Mandalorian story. Um, they built up all these characters and Bill Burr and everything. <laughs> yeah, don't forget Bill Burr is in the series. Uh, he's a really good actor, though, uh, Bill Burr. I think he's great, even though you can clearly tell it's him because he has such a distinct voice. Like, I saw him in, like, GTA 4 when he's, like, a, a character you kill in GTA 4. It's just like, oh, hey, it's Bill Burr! He also does a show that I enjoy. Uh, I don't know if they've done any new episodes or seasons with it, but um, uh, uh, F is for Family. That's a really good series. I, I know a lot of people don't really like it as much, but I think it has mo better quality than people give it. Honestly, I don't. I, I don't even notice like the inconsistencies with certain uh, certain things that happen in the show, like editing wise and stuff, right? But uh, yeah, amazing, great. <laughs> also, Bojack Horseman. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Amazing. One of my favorites. Uh, I was actually kind of thinking about this. I kind of had like an idea. I was watching a really cringy G4 uh, video series that they... It wasn't even a video series, but it was like a, a episodes or something of their top 100 games of all time. Uh, and it's like a five-part video that you can... Videos or whatever, episodes. You can watch them for free on YouTube. Uh, I'd watch them before they somehow get removed by G4, although I don't know why they would. So as there's no real way to rewatch those, it, it's a really specific video, episode, series thing. I don't even know what it is, but it, it is it is so funny to watch because the games they put on the list for their top 100 series are reviewed by... Uh, boomers and mainstream celebrities at the time. Uh, it, it's so like cringy that it's funny because it's just it's really bad. So like people are like whenever they describe games, they'll they'll go so fucking over the top with it. Um, it it's it's just you can't help but like just make fun of it. It, it, and it hurts you too because like they'll sit there and describe the video games in the most boomer mainstream media way possible that it hurts so like they'll sit there and they'll they'll be like yeah mario mario one is better than earthbound because it was a, a, an amazing game for its time i'm just like there's better games if we're talking about top 100 games of all time you gotta go by like I mean, there's recency bias, like for mo for the most part, because the game came out. But you got to think about like 
is Mario like Mario Brothers one really that well of a game like that good of a game? Because I don't think it is. I think Mario one was good for its time because it helped with the video game genre, but with today's standards, it's not really a good game anymore. It's very boring and well, not boring, but it's very generic and. And, I mean, like, you can play New Super Mario Bros, and that's a better version of, of Mario Bros, the original. And uh, that's that's about all I can really say about it, because it's it's been, like, an overdone genre at this point, to where it's just like... Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I wouldn't say it's in the... I wouldn't say... I would say that, it, it for me, Mario Bros 1 would be in top 200. In my opinion, if we're talking about games that I enjoy, I understand the reason, like, their reasoning behind their, their list of games was to ba it based it off of the significance it made in the video game world rather than, but then they added, like, the game where, like, you drive, like, the red Lamborghini and you're driving it on, like, the road and you crash and die and they're, they're saying that that's better than... That game is some that shitty fucking arcade game that hasn't even been remade or done anything with where you just drive a, like on a road and you go really fast and it's a very generic game. We're saying that that's better than Assassin's Creed 3 or something, right? Like that's what they're basically saying is that it's it's, it's better than Assassin's Creed 3 a a game that was made in the 80s is better than Assassin's Creed 3, right? That that's that's the kind of shit like that they're like what's what's the reasoning behind that? What what did this game do that's different from like Temple Run? Uh, in another game that's on their top 100 was a recency biased game, Words with Friends, which no one fucking talks about or plays anymore. It was a fad, and that's all it was, right? And they put that in their top 100 games of all time. If it was in the top 100 games of all time, you'd you'd expect people to still be playing Words with Friends. I haven't heard someone talk about Trivia Crack in five years. Not even five years. Probably like ten years. I haven't heard anybody talk about Trivia Crack in so long that I don't even, like, nobody fucking remembers it unless you mention it. It doesn't even pop in people's heads anymore. It's like the equivalent of like current, the current week's like big meme, like uh, Dolly memes, right? Like Dolly was like a meme for like two days, two or three days, uh, and people have already like milked that shit dry to the point where there's Twitter channels. There's there's literally a Twitter designed around the idea of Dolly weird Dolly memes. What happens when that meme dies out? Weird Dolly memes. Twitter account? What's gonna happen with that? It's It doesn't have any staying power until, like, later. It, it, unless Dolly memes comes out later, right? So, like, like, if there's, like, a newer Dolly meme, like, Dolly application where the pictures are bigger or something, maybe then it could continue as a Twitter account. But it's just, like, banking on a trend, right? Instead of appreciating the design. I, I loved, like, some of my favorite Dolly memes. Because, obviously, fucking Markiplier made a video on it. Therefore, now it's gonna completely blow up. It's completely blow, blown up in people talking about it. But it's definitely died down significantly since then. In, like, a week, it's already basically dead. <clears throat> and, uh... The trail cam ones are really funny because it's just weird. There's like this one where it's like a Jesus trail cam. And it just shows a picture of Jesus sitting in the, the pitch black. And it's like black and white. Then the rest of the pictures, there's nothing. Then there's a random blob. And it's just like, what, what is the AI implying here? Uh, it's just like weird shit like that. Where it's just like, it can be absurd and funny. And it's just great. Also, I have all these, like, YouTube ad things. Oh, good. My, um, my, uh, my secondary account is, uh, is doing good. There it is.
Why do I, st I- I don't know why, but like, I get recommended videos for channels I don't even watch anymore, like GT Live. I haven't watched a video for that channel in forever. I think the mo most recent videos I've seen of GT Live was the, um, <clears throat> Stanley Parable ones. Wait. Ah, there we go. I always like eating spicy food with uh, alcohol. Oh, dude, I have some ramen. Fuck. I have some um, I have some spicy ramen I could make. I should do that for a snack. Um, the uh, the budak, the bulldog, bu budak ramen. It's good shit. I it does it is a process though to make it. You have to stir fry it and do all that stuff. So you have to cook it. You have to you have to boil the water, and then after you boil the water, you put the noodles in there. And then after you put the noodles in there, you um, you then uh, let the noodles soften. And then after you let the noodles soften, you put all the water out into the water or water. Sorry, in the sink. Sorry. Um, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. In the sink. So after you put all the water in the sink, most of, 90% of the water, 99, 98% of the water in the sink, which is hard to guess because the water will just kind of, you won't even know it's there after a bit. And, um, and then some of it's like stays and then it starts boiling. You want to make sure there's barely any water because, because you then have to stir fry it with the sauce packet. And I don't put nearly as much of the sauce in there. Because if I put all the sauce in there, I'm fucked. Like, I'm literally going to be die. I won't even be able to finish it. So I put a very little bit in there uh, of the sauce in there. Uh, which is good enough for me so I can actually finish it. And I have to throw the rest of the sauce away. Because that's it's literally poison. That's death. That's liquid death. Um, it doesn't taste anything like chicken, by the way. Uh, but it tastes really good. Uh, and then you stir fry it in that sauce, and if there's any water in there, the water will just completely soak up the sauce, and then it won't get on the noodles, which is the problem, because these noodle it needs to get into the noodles themselves. So you stir it with the noodles in there until you feel satisfied. Make sure to add a little bit of cold water after the fact, like afterwards, to make sure that it doesn't get so sticky um, to where it's... It, it's huge clumps. You want to make sure that it can separate. Uh, so add a little bit of cold water after you're done. And then you put in the seasoning packet. And I guess if you have any meat, you can like cook the meat and put it in there if you'd like. Um, I have some uh, spam that I tried. I think spam's all right. I want to try cooking it. I want to try cooking slabs of it and see if it if it's good cooked. But I don't know. It's a weird texture that I'm not used to yet because i i feel like if i bite into it i'll hit like a hard piece of something that was in the meat and then just like grosses me out um it needs to be firm it needs to be firm meat for me to actually like not get entirely grossed out by it so whenever i eat whenever i eat like the whenever i eat the uh the spam i'm just sitting there slowly nibbling it at it because i'm afraid like I'll bite into something hard because it's too soft. I I'm just afraid I, I'm like eating something bad. It's it's a weird sad like experience, and that that's just for me. I think like the flavor is decent though. Uh, it's definitely just the texture is just very odd. I made scrambled eggs, which was pretty decent. I I didn't. There's no chives in the house, so I couldn't add chives. Uh, so I just kind of did just some eggs. I put some butter in there, obviously, and then once the butter was there, I cracked the eggs, I mixed it up and everything, and then I poured it in, and then I mixed it. Uh, eggs are fine. The, my biggest issue with eggs, they get cold so fast. It, it sucks. It sucks when eggs just get cold after, like, a minute, and it, it ruins it for me because I don't like cold eggs. 
You have to like eat it right then and there, like as soon as possible. Cause if you don't, they're cold. They're cold as fuck and it sucks. I don't know why they get so cold so fast. It, it really bothers me. I wish it stayed warm a little bit longer so I didn't have to rush through it. Cause I don't like eating my food fast. I like to actually take time. Um, so yeah. Oh, another thing I tried. So you know how there's different seasonings, right? Uh, there's this cheddar jalapeno seasoning that I tried on the popcorn. And um, mm, that's not worth it. It's, it's okay, but it's like you don't taste the cheese. All you taste is like this weird spice. It doesn't even taste like jalapeno. It's just a spice. Um, so like I, I bite into it. And it's just like this sharp, like, spice that has no flavoring or anything to it. And it has, like, this weird, like, and it adds up to, like, this weird texture that I can't describe. It's not worth it. Cheddar jalapeno um, disappointed me greatly. Uh, I should have just gotten the white cheddar because the white cheddar is good. And the ranch is good. The problem I have with the ranch seasoning is that it can get old fast um, if you eat it often. That's the best way I can, like if you eat it more than two times a week or like one time, like sorry, more than one time a week, right? At the most, then you're gonna get sick of the ranch seasoning pretty fast. And the cheddar ones, I've never had it yet. I'm not really a big fan of cheddared popcorn, to be honest. Uh, so maybe it's good. I should try it though. I like white cheddar popcorn. There's like this, um, lant, lant, uh, sorry. It's a, uh, lighthouse. It's like, has like a lighthouse on the logo. It's like this silver bag. I don't know if you can find them anymore, but it has like a seagull on it. And that, that bag of white cheddar popcorn is so addictive. It's amazing. It's so good. And I guess it doesn't exist anymore because I haven't seen it in so long. I wonder if it exists. I, I haven't thought about it in so long. I'm like, does it actually exist anymore? Takis are good too. Uh, I can accidentally go through an entire bag of Takis if I'm not careful. So, yeah, Takis, amazing. I should probably put on a light since it's getting dark. You can see Nash in the background. <clears throat> you know, the lighting kind of makes me look sexier. Like the robe. Also, I like how the shirt says America. <laughs> this was, I think, my 4th of July shirt. I just kind of throw on whatever. I don't really think about, like, what I'm wearing whenever I'm at home. <laughs> But, um, yeah. I don't know. I should grab the Takis. Let me go grab them. Okay. There's not a lot in here. Um, anymore. There's like these big chonker ones. Like look at look at this big fucking cock. Look at that. Throw a couple more in here. These are really good though. Oh man. Gotta love that MSG. It's weird because I feel like Takis 
have like a um have like a meaty flavor to it. It's only sometimes. The only time it has a meaty flavor to it is the first couple ones you bite into. <clears throat> After the spice starts to take over in your mouth, you get less and less of that of that flavor, that very subtle flavor, and you just get more lime and spice over time. But I say Takis are really good with alcohol. It's just my opinion. Or, um, or, um, Turbo's Flamas. Whatever they call it. Turbo's Flamas. Which is, um... I forget what it means in, in Spanish, but... I think it literally just means... Turbo Flames. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good chaser, I guess is the term, right? I don't know. Except it's the opposite, where you eat the Takis, you eat a Taki, and then you take a couple swigs of beer, or whatever else. Ah, uh, my friend was telling me that there's a, um, Mountain Dew hard seltzers now. And he was t he told me he got the Baja Blast one, and he says it's just Baja Blast with alcohol, and he says that it was really good. So I'd have to give that a try because Baja Blast is amazing. Uh, the store I went to had some Baja Blast, which is a rarity. It's rare whenever you get a store with Baja Blast, um, and it's great. I love it. It's like it's like finding like treasure. Right, or it's like getting a legendary in um, Diablo Immortal. That's a that's a low ball. I should watch that Game Grumps video and see what they say. Although I don't think they they'd ever mention me. Fuck no. I don't think I'm I'm anywhere near any kind of significance whatsoever, to where any higher like big channel would ever mention me whatsoever because they don't even know i fucking exist i'm like this weird omnipotent presence on the internet where i'm there i've been there all the time but uh no one no one knows that i'm there so yeah let's see here Just kind of checking uh, Discord to see if there's anything interesting. There isn't. Been looking at memes though on there. Got got some stinky memes. Got some wacky memes. There was like a sweetness in that one. The fuck. fuck was that I was taken aback by that what the hell I was not expecting that at all Nash is laying down right here right down but I don't know I don't know what else to talk about. I don't think I can stream on here. I will say, I'll be back by Saturday. So, Sunday, we will have a proper stream. What I will be streaming, though, um, depends on what I feel like. I want to do something like the coin game. I want to play a game that is going to suddenly, just a bunch of people are just going to start playing it. We got to, we got to hit, uh, they gotta hit gold twice or something. I don't, I don't know the term. We gotta, we gotta strike twice. I think I have an idea for a game that I could play. Uh, 
but yeah it's like games like that i definitely need to do again like uh coin coin game was a good choice because that was like a game that was like people know about and it's building up to more people knowing about it um let me go on steam if i can i i could do diablo 1 I think Diablo 1 is very topical right now. Like, any Diablo game would be topical right now, considering Diablo 4's, like, gameplay trailer or whatever, and, um... What was it? The, uh, fucking, uh... Diablo Immortal debacle. Hold on, I gotta sign in to... Uh, the... Steam. The Steam. Someone suggested me play Revel at some point. I will eventually. Oh, yeah. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is on sale and Metal Gear Survive is on sale. Those are two games I do want to play at some point. On my own, probably. Uh, Super Meat Boy. I do want to play that on stream. Astronauts, I want to play that on stream at some point. Um, let's see here. Let me scroll down to the bottom. I might do Unpacking. Because that's a game that a lot of people have been playing. Uh, unpacking. And it makes me want to play it. Needy Streamer Overload. I'm not entirely sure if I want to play that or not. Revita, that's the name of it. R Revita? I think it's Revita. Uh, so... Oh yeah, Star Wars Jedi Knight Academy. Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. I do want to play that at some point. Um, Hypno Space Outlaw would be a fun stream. System Shock, the new remake, has not come out yet. It was supposed to come out, I think, last year. But it didn't. I should probably try Dusk at some point. And um, Chernobyl Liquidator Simulator. I think there was a demo for this game. Don't know if it's still there. Uh, the Mist game. I might try that. I want to play the original Mist though. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Black Mesa. The, uh, the new version of Black Mesa. We did the original Half-Life with like a blood and gore mod or something in it. I might give that a try. Maybe, probably not in the future though. Uh, Morrowind. That's the game I just recently got. I kind of, I was thinking maybe I should do Morrowind, but then I thought that would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be boring to watch me play Morrowind considering I don't know much about the game? And I'd want to play it vanilla before I even bothered doing, like, crazy mods for it. I don't know. So, I guess on Sunday it would probably be... It'd probably be, uh... Diablo 1? Or... It'd either be Diablo 1 or, um... One of those other games that I mentioned. Super Meat Boy is going to be a frustrating one. We'd have to do that at another time. I, I want to complete... I'd want to do Super Meat Boy to completion, though. That would be the difference. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we'll do Diablo 1 with the Hellfire expansion. I might do it on a harder difficulty because the Hellfire expansion adds difficulties for single player. So I, but they do suggest, which is the weird thing. They suggest you do it with a hot, higher level character. It was, it was weird how they worded it in the thing. So we'll probably just, try to do it and see what happens. I don't know. 
I'll try to beat. And we're gonna play as Warrior, because that's the canonical character. In the series. But we have a lot to do. I think um Boldy. I need to keep playing that. Eventually, I'll do Spore again. I remember I put in a lot of work to try to add every character in the Sporepedia into a playlist. And after I did that, I literally sat there and click, 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 painstakingly. Did all of that, then clicked Add to Playlist, and it said an error occurred, and then unchecked everything that I checked in the box and then I said fuck this so I remember that was like a thing anyways yeah so um hopefully I will get around to doing that I think we're in the civ the civvy phase which is where i le left off and that's like the second one before the space age which is the only other good stage in the game from what i've been told or heard not been told but heard what i've heard so uh yeah I'd have to kind of like think about it. I think the first thing I definitely want to do is I want to do something on the down low. So I might do Bully on Sunday because I want to actually edit the coin game stream and get that uploaded to the uh, uh, the actual like uh, channel. Actually get that finished and done and actually do it. Do what I said I was going to do. Um... And yeah, we're actually gonna do that shit. So that sh should be good. That should be fine. So, yeah. And then on Wednesday, we'll do something interesting, hopefully. So, yep. And I'll update you on life stuff then when i was uh here for a little bit i did have to deal with like a really obnoxious headache like it wasn't bad it was just there and it was like weird i don't know why i had it and i had it for like four days so and that just kind of went away i don't know what happened or why that was a thing luckily it's gone i hate headaches i hate them um and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think I've pretty much said everything I wanted to say. Uh, fuck. <laughs> the fucking music. There's a, there's a guitar version that's really good. Um, there's a couple guitar versions, uh, that are really good. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go skedaddle skedoodle. I, it's not like I can really stream much. I used to stream on this computer when I first started. So this is like my first streaming setup. I didn't have OBS at the time. I used, uh, Streamlabs, but, um. Uh, yeah, I don't have any scenes or anything on here. I just have a webcam. That's it, because I don't have my scenes on this computer. So this is like a very like weird bootleg, kind of like jerry-rigged setup. But hopefully, you know, I'll be back to the house, hopefully. And we can start working on upgrading equipment. And just kind of keep going at it, you 
you know just keep cheat keep chugging i need to find more games to play on stream that's going to be interesting unpacking the unpacking stream will be a thing we're probably we might actually do unpacking on wednesday uh i feel like that would be it's either it'd either be on sunday or wednesday uh either one we'll have to see because i want to do that um and yeah that's, that's it so uh yeah, um, I guess I'll go now. I'm gonna finish up this, finish this up, and um, probably go watch a stream, relax, and then just keep counting down the days until I get out of here. And, uh, I guess I'll catch up on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Hopefully that's actually decent. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. And I will hopefully see you again on Sunday. And, uh, yeah. So, love you. Bye-bye.